because of this one person who hated her, she had to give up after enduring the bullying for 10 years. Being honest, and this is my opinion here, I don't see a future for AOA as a group. From this moment forth, Jimin has decided to leave AOA and stop all her activities in the entertainment industry. So we need to dive into Nina and Jimin's feud because it's, it's been a year and it's just not ending. Is it ever going to come to a definite conclusion or are we just going to go back and forth forever? And there was a conversation that happened. The conversation apparently was recorded and anonymously given to dispatch. But things are not really looking great for Nina right now. I with her, but Choi didn't see it. So I covered one of the biggest headlines of last year when the whole situation in a way between Mina and Jimin happened. Remember? I mean, it's kind of hard to forget, honestly. The articles and stories from Mina had everyone targeting one person, Jimin. Jimin has since disappeared from the K-pop industry completely without much of a recent picture of her. It 100% put an end to this iconic girl group. We thought the storm was kind of over. Since then, there has been a stunning and unexpected twist in the story, with possible evidence that the person many were blaming was in fact really the victim. Let's revisit and follow up on the story that had the K-pop world tricked until now. The last time I covered the bullying accusations Mina had against Jimin was in the middle of it blowing up. I uploaded it on July 8th, 2020 and I was reporting on what was being said on news sites and what I could find. What I said was Mina started posting on her Instagram that she was not in good spirits. She was harming herself and threatening to do more, pointing to the current AOA member at the time, Jimin, saying she has been bullied by her for years, causing much emotional harm. Once the news came out to the public, they would meet to have Jimin apologize to Mina. But once they met, Jimin said she didn't remember what she did to Mina. She didn't remember really a specific moment, but she did apologize. Mina, however, didn't accept it. That is where my video ended. And at this point, it had 1.5 million views. It may seem like a lot, and it is. Because when you search the AOA situation, whether you type in Jimin, Mina, AOA, whatever, my video pops up first. I've seen a lot of comments, DMs, emails from a lot of people telling me to update or delete the video. And here is my update. I'm going off of what I can see and I'm holding myself accountable. For those that are saying that I make money off of this video, I didn't. If you click on the video, you will get a message saying that this is for mature audiences only. YouTube did that almost immediately when I uploaded it, meaning that it was basically demonetized. But let's move on. Since then, Mina did not let it go. She continuously posted about Jimin. She even exposed some private information about, let's say, her love life. Now yes, many were siding with Mina at the time. We want to support the victim in these kinds of cases. That also includes me. I also mentioned that we shouldn't send hate to Jimin. Hate obviously doesn't stop hate. But I do want to mention, don't send hate to anybody I'm talking about. Even Jimin. She's not going to learn how to be a better person from you cursing out her in the DMs or in the comments. She has to learn on her own. But it turns out everyone was kind of wrong to support Mina and demonize Jimin as we did. We were all told by one person, that person being Mina, that Jimin was a villain. A bully without a real cause but just to cause harm. So Jimin's character obviously was tainted with this image. She left the group, kind of unofficially putting an end to AOA as we knew it never to be seen in the industry or public again. But what if I told you it was all a huge, let's say a misunderstanding. Many K-pop fans began to grow tired with the continuous post from Mina. She spoke freely about anything until the old Korean news outlet we love to hate, Dispatch, dropped some DMs between Mina and Jimin back before when everything was chaotic. Here's what the DM said from around the time where Jimin was mourning the passing of her father, and Mina was actually supportive, accepting of Jimin's apology. Then the two hour meeting, the two plus the rest of AOA members. Now reading these transcripts, which I'll have linked down below or translated on screen, it should seem kind of Mm, odd to you. Mina made it seem like Jimin didn't want to remember apparently what she did, but through these dispatch transcripts, Jimin actually couldn't recall a specific moment. Even other AOA members tried to be neutral to help come to some sort of resolution that night. They never mentioned that bullying had happened between the group. However, Mina didn't believe Jimin could remember anything and she continued to target Jimin till this day. Still, there has never been clear evidence of Jimin actually bullying her. 
or other members. However, it turns out there's much more that Dispatch exposed. In the same report, Dispatch interviewed the staff, including managers who worked closely with AOA for most of their careers. Here's what they had to say about Mina's character. The FNC managers called Mina a commander, frequently using the words sensitive, angry, and terrified when talking about Mina. She also demanded that a staff member should run an errand for her. The errand was like making dentist appointments and even making appointments for her own mother. So Mina was emotional and demanding of the staff and made them run tasks that they weren't meant to do. They're not paid for that. But one thing that remained constant from the meeting between AOA to the staff and even Mina herself is that she was emotional and young during this time. That's obviously true. She could have taken any sort of action against her or criticism against her or even suggestions as much more than it actually was at the time. And she carried that through her life. Jimin was the leader of AOA during their roughest and most demanding schedules. Listen, being a K-pop idol is not fun all the time. She had to keep everyone on time and in check. That included Mina. What Jimin did could have just been strict leadership while Mina saw it through different eyes. And her attitude during these difficult times made things even more difficult for the members and the staff, who said they were even scared to wake her up on time for a shoot. Even a complete stranger could see Mina as she was at the time. YouTuber Min Manse shared his experience on the shoot for the music video for AOA Heart Attack, and he had this to say. Lo otro que me pasó fue que tuve contacto también con Mina. Mina, la verdad, no me odien, pero a mí no me cayó muy bien. Eh, fue muy pesada y arrogante con todos los del equipo. Mm, creo que le faltó ser más expresiva con la gente. O sea, si estábamos todos remando para el mismo lado, ella creo que iba al revés. Y su comportamiento no me gustó. No saludaba, estaba como siempre a, a, eh, alejada. No sé, la verdad... No sé, lo, es lo que yo me llevé, lo que vi en ese día, y en realidad todo estábamos compartiendo, pero ella nada. Así que esa niña de Mina, no, yo creo que le falta cambiar su actitud. I also see reports that Mina claims there are other victims of Jimin, and she is planning a lawsuit against Jimin too. And Mina's response to the DMs becoming public is that she wants the whole conversation between Mina and Jimin to be released. But nothing has been said since then. What I understand from the latest updates is that Jimin was a victim herself while doing her job, caused by Mina and her interpretation of events. Mina continued to be relentless, continuously contacting Jimin, even going as far as to take revenge, as she said. I really do believe, and many would also agree, that Mina should get real professional help first, and to come terms with her own emotions before contacting Jimin to resolve everything that happened. This whole story could have been over, friendships and careers could have continued. And if you're watching this, please don't take this video or my last video about the situation as fact. Things can change, people can change, and they probably will change. New information will come out. Trust me, this story is nowhere near over.